Mr. Anti-Establishment Right-Wing Firebrand himself, Glenn Beck, uh, gave some interesting commentary about his ideal presidential ticket. Let's watch. I think this is doable and absolutely unstoppable. Ted Cruz as the president, Marco Rubio, and I think they should announce this and run as this. I think we should begin to demand this. I think this should go all over the Internet. Ted Cruz as president, Marco Rubio as vice president. Remember, Marco Rubio, the reason why he's still in it and he's not going to give up is because he can't run for his Senate seat. So his Senate seat is over. So he's out. So he's going to keep going. He has an interest. So Ted Cruz as president, Marco Rubio as vice president. They then say our Supreme Court nominee is Mike Lee. Rand Paul is going to be the Secretary of Treasury. And Ben Carson, we're going to back you with everything we can to get you to take Marco Rubio's seat in the Senate. How is that not a win for absolutely everyone? And that team would be unstoppable. Tweet that. Facebook that. Get that out. Demand that that's where we go. Everyone wins. Cruz is president, Rubio vice president, Mike Lee as our Supreme Court Justice, Rand Paul as Treasury Secretary, and Ben Carson as the new Florida Senator. Everyone wins and will stomp in November. First of all, to the idea that <laughs> that's a guaranteed victory. <laughs> that's a guaranteed victory. Only to you and your 73-year-old audience who are currently shitting in their depends. Only to them is it, oh yeah, you bet your, you bet your patootie it's going to be Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio can run roughshod in a general election. Yippee skippy. No, they won't. No, they won't. Please, I want you to run that ticket so you can get your ass handed to you. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is, look at this pathetic child every other day he's on his radio show and he's on his shitty network which nobody watches and he's like we need a revolution we must overthrow the system we need to make sure that we implement true conservative principles and that that requires we go far and we go far and we overthrow the system and then we need a revolution so mr anti-establishment revolution right-wing firebrand himself just decided his revolution uh, has the establishment in it. <laughs> we need a revolution to put the establishment back in power. You're Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Ben Carson, senator in Florida? Mike Lee, Senator Mike Lee, to be on the Supreme Court. His revolution includes all people who are currently in the establishment. That ain't a revolution, bitch. That's you falling hook, line, and sinker to the bullshit Republican establishment that never did anything for anybody, and they have no interest in making the lives of the American people better. And that leads to the final point, which is, guys, let me ask you a question, a serious question. What does Glenn Beck stand for? What does he stand for? What's his thing? Like, what? hey, this is my idea, my direction for the country. What is it? There's no answer to that, right? Best case scenario, I don't know. Uh, he wants uber, uber religious government because he always has that guy on David Barton, his historian who pushes theocracy like nobody's business. So he wants theocracy in America. He wants, I don't know what, eliminate the minimum wage, keep the minimum wage low, uh, cut taxes for corporations. What? What do you want? What do you want, Clem? But that's the thing. What a clown this guy is. There's no vision. There's. It's, it's not even like he's doing accurate... Uh, political news and breaking down that stuff. No. It's like shitty in that respect and then also there's no vision. There's no like what are you fighting for? You're not fighting for anything. You're just an insider Republican prick. <laughs> Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio unbeatable ticket. Ben Carson for center. Fucking Ben Carson! Mr. The Pyramids were for grain silos in the Bible. What? Mr. Yeah China's in Syria right now. You're going to look at that guy and go, nailed it, Senator from Florida. What do you stand for, Glenn Beck? What do you stand for? Now, us, take us for example. What do we stand for? Well, first and foremost, uh, 
I do like to break down the news and try to be as accurate as possible and give you guys what's going on in the world. But then on top of that, I'm honest about what direction I want to take the country and what that means and where I stand. So I call myself an international centrist, a moderate, an independent in an international sense. And in the US, I say, yeah, I'm viewed as far left. I'm a, basically, I believe in social democracy, which means universal health care, universal education, means uh, paid vacation time by law, means more unionization, a higher minimum wage, means you mix capitalism and socialism in an effective and efficient way. So so we have a floor that's still a living wage and people can survive, but then also your own personal initiative can allow you to get rich within the system. This is what I stand for. I stand for a vision. I stand for, this is what I talk about on a daily basis as we do the news. What do you stand for, Glenn Beck? He doesn't stand for anything. He's flailing in the wind. He's out there, I don't know, one day I'm gonna do theocracy talking points, the next day I'll talk about how tax cuts for corporations are awesome, and then the next day I'll say, let's do a revolution by putting in the establishment. Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Ben Carson, Mike Lee. You're a child, and by the way, his media organization is failing. I said it once, I'll say it again. TikTok. Five years or less before his entire operation implodes, because... No, no one knows what the fuck he stands for anymore, and behind the scenes, reading the articles I read, one was great, I think it was on the Daily Beast, they say the finances aren't working out, and the second the right-wing think tanks pull their funding, he's over. Because he doesn't make money from advertisements, all he has is fucking end times people who advertise on his show. Dried food! You know, save your sales, got raffles that they do uh, during the commercials. So they don't have enough money to prop themselves up with advertising money. So what do they do? They... They're welfare queens for the right-wing think tanks. They cut them checks, but then when that runs out, you're done, Glenn, you're done, and it's not shocking to see why. There's your brilliant analysis right there. Don't take crude Marco Rubio for president. That'd be great. <laughs> what a revolution that would be.